to all the amazing people of the tube. So I honestly believe that they're lying to us in regards to the insurrection of the Capitol building. I honestly think media is not asking nor telling us the most obvious thing they should be telling us and asking about is this uprising right that happened in the capitol building this unrest did any files get taken did any files get replaced did any files get modified because that seems like a perfect distraction for someone to go in and either change certain documents replace certain documents with other documents that look almost identical because when you're talking about legislation right when you're talking about law a few words being changed changes everything punctuation changes everything the fact that there's a comma here instead of a period changes everything and i feel like it was a complete distraction so that they could get to certain files because if you modify certain files you can literally change the trajectory of a country and I really think that's what it was about it wasn't about a, a coup right it wasn't about the sitting president at that time causing a coup that's ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely bonkers. The guy got out of office like a couple months later. You get what I'm saying? He was a sitting president. Why would the sitting president do something to ruin his chances of re-election? You understand what I'm saying? It's absolutely nonsense. Just the fact that we know there were government agents within that large group of people. We know the police were told not to have their weapons that day. We know that when the police requested help from government, they were not given the help. At the very least, they weren't given help in a timely manner to get a hold of the situation so it seems to me whatever happened it was meant to happen it was designed to happen that way but why is nobody asking the questions the most important questions what about the documents what about the important stuff we have in that building it's the Capitol building. It's a legislative building, right? They pass laws there. Of course, it's about documents. What else can it be about? I think it's crazy, man. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how people are distracted so easily, right? Like when a, when a major thing happens, it surprises me how them saying a few things can completely divert people's attention from logic and reason, from critical thinking. I mean, is it anybody surprised that our government would do something like that? I mean, at this point in time, I don't think it's a surprise to anybody. I don't think anybody at this point thinks that the CIA didn't kill Kennedy, right? But the question is, why would they kill Kennedy, right? What were the reasons? Well, like, right, like those are the other questions. But in regards to who did it, obviously it was our government that did it, right? Powerful people within our government did it. Otherwise, we would have gone to war with another nation immediately. And you know America loves war. And a popular president like a Kennedy gets killed? 
of course we would be at war the next day. That's the perfect excuse to go to war. But no, none of that happened. People are talking about the grassy knoll, about uh, how many shooters were there, mysterious bullets. They're missing... Who gives a fuck about that, right? A president got killed. How could this happen? Well, his fucking driver probably capped him. His bodyguards probably capped him. Who, who knows, man, right? I mean, I'm diverting away from it, but that's just, that's just an example of our government will do extreme shit. So something like the January 6th insurrection, even calling it an insurrection, right? Like, it's not a surprise our government would do such a thing. At least not to a person like me. It's not surprising to me at all. But it's more about why, right? Of course it's about documents. What else can it be about? I don't know. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Solo Yolo Bolo.